Okay, for the same safety, it is safe for me to enter. I'm going to join my hand with six steps of hand hygiene according to WHO guidelines. Hello, good morning. I'm Anita, I'm one of the registered nurses here. I've come to administer iron injection for you. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. So, could you please tell me your full name? Emma Hargreaves. Your date of birth? Uh, 28th of June 1971. Okay, your address? To Long Street, and then to 7 a.m. I'm with the right patient. So, Emma, uh, you have got the prescription for iron injection. Medication is injection hydroxocobalamine. Uh -huh. Dose is 1 mg per ml. I am once in three months. Mm -hmm. I've got the doctor's signature and prescription. It is due today. Have you got any allergies? Uh, no, I don't have any allergies. Oh, that's all right. Um, so do you know for what reason we are giving this hydroxocobalamin injection? No, I'm not sure because this is the first time I'm taking this injection. Okay, so hydroxocobalamin is given for vitamin B12 deficiency and uh, pernicious anemia. Okay. So it has got few side effects that is urine discoloration, headache and nausea. So uh, I'll get the uh, medicine prepared and come. Is that okay? Alright. I'm going to gel my hand with six steps of hand hygiene. Going to be into the eyelids. I need a clean tray. As a second, I assume this to be a clean tray. Yes. Okay. I need a 2 ml syringe. It is in date and intact. Uh, expiry is 2024. I need a 23 gauge needle. It is in date and intact. Expiry is 2026. March. I need a 18 gauge needle. It is uh, in date and intact. The expiry is 2024. And the medicine hydroxocobalamine. So I'm checking it with the prescription. Injection hydroxocobalamine, 1 mg 1 ml per ml. And uh, the expiry is 2022. I'm happy to use this. And two sunny cloth. Paris 2022 in date and intact. I need a gauze. So the expiry is 2024. It is intact. And a pair of gloves. It is also the expiry is 2023. And so I'll turn my hands again. I need to wipe the neck of the vial. So, 30 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 28, 29, 30. Allowing it to dry for 30 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 28, 29, 30. One ml, so I'm going to take one ml from the bottom. I'm pushing inside the excess of medicine and taking away the next air bubbles.
So could you please check your That's fine. Yeah. I'm going to keep it inside again to the cover. Now I'm going to discard all the uh, clinical waste into the clinical waste. Okay. can be given in arms, buttocks and thighs. So I'll be giving in your th uh, arms. Is that okay? Yeah, you can give it on my right arm. Okay, uh -huh. okay. so I need to check your arm, okay? Mm -hmm. I need to minimally expose you. Is that all right? Okay. So, yeah, I can see that there's no redness or any uh, infection, so I'm happy to administer okay. your infusion. Mm -hmm. So i my hands again. I'm going to allow it to dry for 30 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 28, 29, 30. I'm going to hold the syringe in a dot form. It will be a small uh, sharp scratch. Is that okay? Okay. I'm going to stretch your skin. I'm going to insert it. One centimeter of the needle will be outside. I'm going to insert the medication. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to allow the medication to rest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Using the safe mechanism, I'm going to discard the syringe into the shop. Like this. Okay. I can see that it's not bleeding. Do you want me to uh, put any bandage on it? No, that's fine. Okay. Okay, Emma. So I'll discard the waste into the clinical waste bin. Documented with signature, date and time. Okay, Emma, if you have any uh, concern, you can uh, ring the bell. We are always here to help you. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, see you later. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you.